I've got the Xiaomi Redmi 7 here and today I'm going to show you how to gain root access to this smartphone. Now I have previously shown you how to install TWRP on this device and that's actually the point at which most people will flash the Magisk zip file on the device which in store will root the Xiaomi Redmi 7 but there are other ways of installing just TWRP without root and like I showed you yesterday you can even just temporarily boot into TWRP to install things like root and create your backups and install other mod other zip file modifications In any case, to root the Xiaomi Redmi 7, you're going to need to download the Magisk zip file. And I'm going to have this linked in the full tutorial that I have set up for this video. And you can find the link to that full tutorial in the video description for anybody who's watching this on YouTube. Now you're also going to need to have the bootloader unlocked on your Redmi 7 because we need to install or temporarily boot into TWRP in order to install the Magisk zip file and that requires the bootloader to be unlocked so if you're not familiar with how to do that again refer to the full, tu full tutorial on my website that I'll be linking to so that you can walk through that entire process from start to finish so once you have all that done and you are ready to root your Redmi 7, you're going to either boot into TWRP like I'm going to right now, which is the same thing as just booting into recovery mode, which again I cover in the full tutorial, or you are going to temporarily boot into TWRP like I showed you in yesterday's video, which again I'll have on the full tutorial. And after you have downloaded the Magisk zip file, um, you're going to want to move or copy it over to the Redmi 7. You can do either do that before installing TWRP or booting into TWRP or after. Like from right now, I can connect the USB cable and copy that zip file over. And for at least this current version and this setup of the Redmi 7 and its version of MIUI and this version of TWRP that we're currently working with, version 19 of Magisk is working. Now that could change in the future. Xiaomi could make a change to their software that will require a, a higher version. In any case, I usually recommend that you always try the latest version of Magisk whenever you want to root your smartphone. So try the latest version. If you're having issues with that, then you might want to go back to version 19. So once you have that zip file on the Xiaomi Redmi 7, we are in TWRP. We're going to tap the install button. We're going to browse to wherever you have that zip file located in. And for me, I put it in the download folder. We're just going to tap on that Magisk zip file and we're going to swipe the white arrows to the right to begin the installation. So again, it doesn't matter if you have, if you are just temporarily booting into TWRP or if you're using this as part of your TWRP install, which again is what I would I would say 70 or 80 percent of the people will want to do is just install Magisk right when you install TWRP and once you finish installing Mag uh, Magisk that gives you your root access from there you can tap on the reboot system button 
You're not going to lose any of your uh, any of your data, any of your app settings. In any case, I always recommend that you create a backup in TWRP before you flash major modifications like Magisk or Exposed or anything else. And there we have it. We have booted back into MIUI from TWRP after we have flashed Magisk. We have our Magisk Manager application right here. And we are completely up to, up, up to date. So that is how to gain root access on the Xiaomi Redmi 7 with Magisk.